Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, December 13th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. First things first, we do have Fed on tap this week, uh, Wednesday. We get ourselves the FOMC statement and the FOMC uh, federal interest rate decision. So that's going to give us another FOMC key level that we'll then use. Uh, to help us identify the next uh, directional moves and perhaps to use as targets down the road. The last time we got one here was November 3rd. You can see the move away from the level, back to it, away to it, or back to it here, back away, back to it, up. And it's mostly just used it as an area to kind of trade and chop above and below. Other times, um, for example, when we had the move here off of the 922 level, uh, price chopped above and below it and then took it bid and ran until we saw the next one. So we'll see how we get this next one here, uh, but we'll get it on Wednesday. Until then, we may see uh, you know one impulse move, maybe down, set the edge, and kind of go sideways into Wednesday. Uh, and that could be the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday approach here. At the moment, uh, the ES is sitting just above or at the moment just pushed back below the previous week's high price. So right now we have a narrow range that has developed above the previous week's high of 47.12. We have a narrow con consolidation up there and a failure to hold that zone, especially breaking back below 47.05s. That could open up uh, a return back down. And from a weekly pivots perspective, any failure to hold the previous week's high uh, could open up a return as deep as the midpoint of the previous week's range which would be 46.21. That would be way back near the uh, the FOMC key level here from last time around. So just some thoughts on, on what the key levels are here, but for the most part, we do have the FOMC coming up here pretty soon. And uh, once we get that level, we may see a bit more volatility heading into the end of the year. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. The NQ here... Uh, also, with uh, the FOMC key level that's been chopping around here lately, there's the November 3rd FOMC up, back to it, higher, back to it, and then back through it, then up and chopping around it right now. So this has been very similar to what we've seen here in the ES overall. Right now, price has um, remained in the range here and remained inside that key range that's developed over the last month. Uh, for the most part, uh, we're watching the previous week's high here to see how price responds. That's 14, uh, 436, 16, 436. We're trading 380 right now. If price comes into this zone, does it start to work its way back down? Uh, at the moment, anything above 400 here has been offered since that strong top. It hasn't been able to really get above that point here lately. So again, we do have ourselves another FOMC key level coming up. We have a narrow range here over the last few days that's continued to be in play. And uh, we could continue to see more range-bound action until proven otherwise. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Now, crude here uh, has a very narrow range over the last five days, kind of an ascending type of wedge, uh, wedge there. You can also see right here that uh, you know if you look at it on a six-day range basis, it's compressed. But really, we want to bring it down even more, uh, you know, five days or maybe even four. You can really see how compressed it is in here. So that right there is 34% of average range. It's normally averaging lately at least 10.45 points per day. And right now it's at 3.82. So for the most part, compression here against the averages. Obviously, this one skews the averages tremendously. But we've dropped a lot since then. So if we get a breakout here, how far can we go? We may not be expecting 13 points like normal, which would be our normal target. But perhaps a breakout could get us back toward around 10 points, which is the current norm on a 10-day uh, average 5-day range basis. So right now, narrow range here, compression. We have sold off intraday from the highs of the overnight session here and are back down and right now uh, 
But again, until proven otherwise, we could continue to see this thing trade in a way that uh, is inside the range, and then we start to see a breakout here soon. So um, given the overall downward trending market, do we see more weakness ahead? Or can this thing continue to push toward that 75.52 swing target? That's been the target since this strong low has been getting this thing back towards 75.50. So if we were to see a downside break and rejection, that failed new low could catapult us into 75.50. So that's an idea here on a swing basis once we do get some movement out of this range. All right, let's take a look here at gold futures. Gold right now trading in a narrow range here. Again, this one's been stuck this entire month of December. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days of sideways price action. We can come down here and quantify those nine days using our Pivot Boss Advanced ADR indicator. And look at that compression here 43.5% of average. That's tremendously compressed. That means we should be looking at at least a move of about 87 points on a breakout here pretty soon. So just like last time, uh, back here I mentioned we could be looking at a about 80 to 100 point move. We got exactly that. We're setting up for the same type of thing again. Again, if we get ourselves a strong pivot to work off of, like say this thing were to rally and then fail, that strong high could then point us downward about 100 points. And we'd be looking, for example, at a 1720 from an 1820. So right now, again, looking for signs of expansion or a failed breakout. Until then, it could be a lot of chop in this range until proven otherwise. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out the rest of the week. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trade room. Take care.